So good morning, everybody. Good morning to today's webinar called Boost Your Social Media Success with Hootsuite and Silom. So as always, um, we will, or the session will be recorded. We will send out uh, the, the recording um, on request and as always, we will also provide the recording afterwards on our sharing portal, portal.silom.com. Um, yeah, if you have questions in today's webinar, um, please yeah, post them in the GoToWebinar question section. Uh, we will try to answer them directly um, in the session and there will be for sure also in the end of the today's webinar and, and Q&A part where yeah, my colleague and me will answer them um, yeah, in, in time to support you with all the questions which will arise. Yeah, good who is here today so who we are um maybe i will just directly hand over to patrick and then i will continue so please patrick start with your introduction patrick i think we have some audio problems ah, we can't sorry hear. <laughs> One more try. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, my name is Patrick Kolecki. I work as a um, developer for Netcare Business Solutions in Frankfurt, Germany since over two years and I'm also a trained Silom developer and consultant. Um, today I want to show you how you can fluently integrate the Silom Content Hub into Hootsuite to take your social media management to the next level. Yeah, thank you very much. So, yeah, um, my name is Georg Peyrider. I'm senior solution architect working in the customer success team at Silom quite a time now. Um, yeah, I'm supporting and helping customers in, in all their questions they have regarding architecture and features, functionality, how to use Silom workrooms and all the offering we have. So happy to be here today and to show you the Hootsuite connector together with Patrick. Yeah, let's move on with the agenda we prepared for you today. Uh, first of all, we would like to give you a short introduction in the Hootsuite connector, the social media hub or social media central Hootsuite. Um, Patrick will give you a live demo then I will um, show you, or he will also provide you information how to connect the content hub with Hootsuite. And as mentioned, there will be an Q&A session. All right, so the intro to the content orchestration, multi-channel content orchestration, the Hootsuite connector, um, what can be done with it or what is Hootsuite? Um, Hootsuite is a very powerful social media hub for yeah, providing content media to different channels or yeah, to publish content to different channels. Um, this can be for sure, you know them, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and so on. So it's the uh, central for all your social media activities, so to say. Yeah, so what is the, uh, the, the benefit of using the, the Hootsuite connector? Um, first of all, what I forgot to mention is Hootsuite has also very powerful statistics and reporting functionality. Um, and when using the Hootsuite uh, connector to the content hub, you, the user, the social media manager, so to say, um, it's easy for him uh, to embed media objects directly from Silom. So no need to switch to the content hub, search for their, their social media content, download it, upload it again to 
Hootsuite, it's a seamless integration um, to, to the content hub for using the assets in Hootsuite directly. Yeah, it also delivers perfectly converted renditions. So for each channel, for each specific requirements, uh, like Facebook, like LinkedIn, they, they need different resolutions or renditions. Um, the Hootsuite connector will provide your perfectly converted renditions for the channels. And what's also possible, you can also add a visual indicator for synced assets in the content hub. So for the user, it's it's he can see on the first side that an, an asset will be used in Hootsuite uh, because there will be a bullet directly on the on the asset, which can be modified, which can be configured. So as a visual indicator. Yeah, so again, what are the main key functionalities, so to say? Um, there will be no media disruption. So as mentioned, editors will be able to search, sort, filter, and select the assets directly in the Sealum DAM and insert them into Hootsuite. So from technical perspective, and Patrick will show you that afterwards, um, the Hootsuite connector is using our asset picker and the asset picker supports searching, sorting, filtering, and as mentioned, selecting the perfectly rendition for Hootsuite. Yeah, adv advanced publishing, so target targeting posts based on location, language, or demographic details, what it means uh, you decide with metadata or with folder structures, with tags, with keywords in the content hub, which data, which media is approved for using. So you can define approval workflows to find the perfect assets for Hootsuite and approve it for channels or for different channels or locations, languages, as or as mentioned, demographic details. So that's easy, easy done with, with tagging. And last but not least, authorization. So you control in the CLAM DAM which assets can be used in Hootsuite. So this is the approval as mentioned. Good, all right. So let's move on with the live demo of Patrick. So for this, I will hand over to him. Thank you, Georg. Can you see my screen? Yes, we can. Perfect. Uh, all right. Um, let's get started with our Hootsuite Celum Connect demo. First, I quickly want to show you our content repository, the Celum Content Hub, in this example. It's often used as a central repository for all kinds of assets. For example, your creative team might upload their social media contact here, ready for publication. Once uploaded, you might want to categorize your assets by assigning different keywords to them. For example, here I've created some share tags and under the cute animals, you will find all the cute animals and some of them are even cuter. Okay, great. Now your content should be ready for your social media and we can actually leave the content up for now. Okay, let's switch to Hootsuite. In case you might not be familiar with Hootsuite yet, I quickly want to explain to you what it does. It's a social media management tool, which will let you create posts for your social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, and many more. It's great to organize your social profiles with customized dashboards and the possibility to schedule your posts. So 
so you can plan um, when they should go public. In summary, it will take you a lot of time. And so now all you need to do to access your Celum assets from within Hootsuite is to install the Celum Hootsuite Connect app from the app directory. I will quickly show you how to do that, and then I will show you how to use it. Simply go to the app directory where I already was, then you search for Celum, and then you find the Celum Hootsuite Connect. Um, install it and hit finish, and then you will automatically automatically redirect you to the login page of the content app. To log in, all you need to do is to add the server and the Celum API key. I will use the server I just showed you and the related API key. The API key can be easily created by yourself or by your admin in the configuration management of the content hub. And we will also be able to assist you if you need help configuring it. As you just saw, there was a big request access button in the bottom left corner. More information about that will be provided after the live demo. Okay, so now we successfully logged in. We will find our we will find all our assets from the content hub inside Hootsuite. You will also be able to find the content app if you go into the sidebar, hit the publisher menu, and under the content tab, you will find the Celum Hootsuite Connect. The content tab will also let you access um, your Celum assets from within Hootsuite, so it provides a nice way to quickly navigate through kind different kinds of assets if you just want to quickly search for assets and not spend a lot of time switching between Celum and Hootsuite. So for example, if you want to look for images or documents, and there's also a search option which might come in handy for you. Another helpful feature the content app provides you is the possibility to attach multiple assets with the basic composer. You can even select custom download formats configured in Celum directly, which the Celum conversion server will automatically convert for you before attaching them to your social media posts. So let me quickly show you. So let's select a document and an image. And the next step, we can select the download formats. In this case, I want to stick to the original files. And then we hit Attach Assets. Once file attached, the composer automatically for you. Here you can select the social media channel you want to post to. In this case, I want to post to Twitter. And you can also, of course, add a text message to your post. The document itself was converted to an OLI link and the image was attached by itself. So let's post it. So you get the confirmation that it was posted. The nice thing about Hootsuite is that you don't have to leave Hootsuite to see if your social media posts were successful. You can go to the streams menu. I set up a stream for my Twitter feed and we can see it was posted just now to Twitter, including the image and the only link. You can also reply directly from within this Twitter feed. Again, the composer will open. You can type out your response. And also you can attach your Celum Hootsuite Connect uh, media directly from here. Just hit the attach media button and go to the tab Celum Hootsuite Connect. And you will find all your assets.
Okay, let's reply. And the message was posted successfully and you see the stream is updated immediately. But uh, I would rather delete these posts now because as cute as they might seem, it's not uh, that impactful for my target audience. So let's delete it and delete once more. Okay, great. Um, of course, I saved the best for last for you which is the advanced composer you find in the top left corner. This will let you preview your posts. You find it um, right there. So let's select post. Once selected, you will see on the left side the interactive area. Here you can choose from your different social networks and get creative. In this case, I will select LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter. And on the right side, you can see the live preview of the different social media platforms you um, choose. To access the assets your creative team uploaded for you, simply select the Open Media Library link. Then from the drop, drop down menu, you select the Celium Hootsuite Connect. Once um, loaded, you will see all the root folders of your content hub to which you have access. Um, as you remember, in the beginning, I showed you the share tags. Let's choose the animals. So, Either we can choose the cute animals or the cuter animals. Let's go with cute this time. I think it would be cruel not to share them with the world. Let's choose these two. And once they were attached to your post, then you can use the integrated image editor of Hootsuite to make further adjustments to it. For example, you can um, crop it, let me show you. Or you can change the aspect ratio, for example, make it square. And there are many more features. Um, there's a great video in the YouTube channel of Hootsuite if you want to know more about those. Once you're happy with your changes, um, we can either choose to schedule it for later or post it now. In this case, I want to schedule it later. I choose the auto schedule of Hootsuite, which will choose the most impactful time for your audience. Let's add a, a small text message to it. And hit schedule. So you see the confirmation, the three posts have been scheduled. Now back in our dashboard. You can um, add new streams. Let's choose um, again our Twitter and use the scheduled options. And now you can see when Hootsuite scheduled it. It will be posted tomorrow at 9 a.m which was chosen as the most impactful time. Okay, so I hope in this demo, I was able to show you how you can seamlessly integrate Silum into your Hootsuite and also how both can work together to make your life much easier and save you a lot of time in the long run. Okay, I uh, give back the control to Georg. Yeah, thank you, Patrick, um, for this nice demonstration. Um, I think you you demonstrated that Hootsuite is a powerful tool 
Um, and also interesting because the nice thing I, I think is that it supports also the legacy composer in Hootsuite and also the latest or current composer. So um, all the functionality there uh, will be supported in using right. CDM content. Good, okay. Then the next point on the agenda will be how to connect the uh, Hootsuite system to Content Hub. So Patrick, what about the installation? Patrick, maybe we have again audio problems. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. I think now I'm unmuted, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Okay, so as you saw on the demo, the installation is really straightforward. Um, while the app itself is listed as free, you actually need to contact sales at silom.com to request access to it. Um, once you're ready, we will activate your Silom Content Hub for you and help you or assist you with the configuration. Um, you will need at least Silum version 5.1.3, which is from 2017, so this shouldn't be a problem. Um, or all later versions are also supported. And you will need the Silum Cora API extension, which will also be provided by Silum. That's um, all, right. all for the installation. All right, perfect. Well, so now we are in the questions section or question agenda point. Um, there are some questions. So if you still have questions, please post them now to the questions panel that we can directly answer them. Um, I will start with the first one for answering. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is what about transferring metadata to Hootsuite? Is that supported? Mm -hmm. um, so as I showed you in the beginning, there was the content app where you can choose the um, or to select the download format. So Silom provides the option to choose um, original files with metadata. Then you can map with IPTC or XMP um, your custom Silom metadata into the binary of the image, and um, then you will have the metadata also in Hootsuite in your images or assets itself. Perfect. Okay, then next question is, um, does it support, do it support a CEO friendly um, tagging or naming? So um, to, to explain it, CEO means search engine optimization mm -hmm. um yeah maybe i can also answer it because it's an an, an feature which is integrated in in Silom directly and and what i would support here uh, is uh, using the file name resolver so when providing the assets to hootsuite you can directly modify in the transfer the file name of the media which will be transferred um, so with modified or custom file names, um, you can support this CEO friendly process. Good. Then there is one more question, the last one. Um, can I define channel specific renditions for Hootsuite? Can file sizes be predefined for different media channels? Mm -hmm. um... So there are, I think, two options. Um, the first um, was the advanced composer I showed you in the end of the demo. Um, you saw the photo or image editor. This will let you choose the right aspect ratios for the most popular popular social media platforms. Platforms, um, For example, you can choose the aspect ratio two to one for Twitter or, or the four different aspect ratios for Instagram. So this uh, will be really easy for you to um, yeah, provide the right aspect ratios for all the um, social media platforms. And the second option, of course, are again, the um, CLOM download formats, which will 
help you to uh, optimize, for example, your images for web or also your videos to the right um, format like MP4. Perfect. Sounds good. Okay, good. Then there are no more questions. We will switch to the next one. Um, yeah, last but not least, if you have still questions, um, if you have feedback, if you need an additional demonstration or more specific demo, uh, please contact us via hello at silom.com. We are happy to help you, to support you. Um, also, thank, thanks to our partner, Netcare, um, for yeah, demonstrating um, today the possibilities and the powerful Hootsuite connector. Um, yeah, I think they are also uh, happy to answer your questions via sales at netcare.de or for the contact here. Um, so last but not least, thank you for attending today's webinar. Um, thank you too. Hope it was interesting for you. Um, yeah, and maybe we will, you will also attend the next one. Um, thank you. Take care and have a good one. Bye. Bye.